There we go. Alright, welcome back guys. So uh, today we're out on the Tequamanon River again. We're going to go after some more muskie and pike. Mainly we're going to try to do top water. Not into it today. We'll uh, we'll throw some swim baits at them and some spinners. So if you didn't catch the last uh, couple of videos, we're actually finding all these remote fishing places and rivers and lakes that uh, Sportsman's Connections got in their books. Pretty inexpensive uh, book, but the uh, information in there is outstanding. This section of the river here, it even uh, specified how uh, the muskie and pike were. Information on what types of fish are on which lakes, all the lakes are named. Fish and Maps guidebook combined with that all outdoor atlas. If you like biking, hiking, camping, uh, wildlife watching, whatever. I mean, I could go on and on, but if you like the outdoors, uh, take a look at those books. They're very inexpensive and uh, just loaded with info. Lake surveys, um, stocking information. Uh, in those lake surveys, they, it tells you all the information of what they actually netted and trapped out of the water and what sizes and everything else. So everybody's always asking me, where are you finding all these spots? Where are you finding all these fish? And honestly, that's where I'm finding them. I'm just going in there and picking a species I want to target, whether it be walleye, muskie, pike, trout, perch, bluegills, bass, smallmouth, largemouth, doesn't matter. Everything uh, everything these lakes have, have to offer, where they're located at, and everything else is right in that book. So last, last week we went downstream, today I'm going to go upstream, I only got a couple hours, so we'll work our way upstream and then it'll be easy and quick to get back down. We'll see how we're doing on time, but I've been wanting to check it out up there anyway. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Got here, a little muskie or northern. Oh, Look like a little muskie. Sweet. Just a little guy, but that's a good sign, huh? All right, let's see if we can get the. Uh, Something bigger. A lot of times they always hit uh, right at that last second. That's part of the excitement, I tell you. Lay up in that grass. Sometimes it's right when you least expect it. Like that small one, right out in the middle like that, way down in the weeds. There's some real good key areas to look for, like uh, inlets coming in to the stream around a nice hole where the water's swirling and stuff. But uh, sometimes you, f you just don't know where they're gonna be, like laying down in these weeds like that one we just caught. I mean, I know he wasn't very big, but you never know where they lay sometimes. 
You just gotta kinda work that water every now and then. Most of these weeds lay under the surface, so you can work them with that top water. Not worry too much about your hooks uh, snagging up. It, it does happen quite often, but not as bad as you'd think. Sometimes those big northerns will hang out up in there too. I don't know if you can see down in there, but you see how those weeds are just laying there on the bottom. Those uh, big musky and pike, they like to lay down in that. And hide for the ambush. There's a lot of you out there that can fish big musky and pike a lot better than I can, but you know I'm right. You know you've caught those musky in some obvious places like dam reservoirs and stuff like that and the still waters and stuff, but Hopefully you can see that a little bit. You see those weeds down there in this hole? I'll buy them lilies there too. There we go. Not a very good hook set. That's a nice one. Hear that drag? Make sure you're set. That's a pretty decent one there. Knew there was one laid up in there. There we go. Gorgeous. tell you if you've never fished for musky you are really missing out not bad let's uh let's get her back in the water chips and plastic bag. Ah. Ah. Can't leave that in here. I don't want to get my pedal stuck up in there. Throw that in the back of the truck, take it home and get rid of it. 
a beaver or something gets stuck on that and who knows one waking right there Got my bigger spinners, but this looks uh, pretty enticing. It's a little small, but let's see if it'll catch a muskie. Oh, did you see that? I think it will catch a muskie. Hopefully it didn't see me. Just takes it again. Got him. Oh, lost him. Well. I don't think we're gonna get a third shot at her, but boy, I really like how that's working. I don't know about you guys. Thought I gave it a chance to hang on to it for just a second. Maybe I should have ripped it a little sooner. That was pretty awesome. That about wraps it up, guys. We'll, uh, work our way back to the truck. We didn't do too bad. We picked up a small one and a pretty good size one. So hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>